Okay, guys. Good God morning. It's 6 30 here in the morning, <laughs> which surprises me because God has allowed me to sleep a little longer on normal situation, normal days lately. But I'm feeling better. Spirit is great. Physical is great. I'm learning how to work my way through this pump. And um, God is good. God is good. God is everything. Love is everything. God is love. Holy Father, God, we are grateful today for our heart is filled with joy and, and blessings to share with the world. And we are grateful for this. The gratitude, living in gratitude is the best miracle that I could give anyone. So I thank you for this. And I pray and share this with everybody and everything I need today. May it replace all grievances, no matter how deep we think they are. Forgiveness is the way to love, to heal, to be better, to have joy, to enjoy this place called Earth. So we bless everyone with releasing grievances so that they may be replaced by miracles. Look for your miracles. Be aware of your grievances, God. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving us this lesson. Amen. And so it is. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Yes, yes, yes. I am here. I want to thank everyone who comes to the replay, who comes to the live feed, who sees it and just clicks and listens. That's it. That's all. It is not about thinking your way through. A Course in Miracles is a, a, a book of ideas that we take in to change our experiences on this life plane, mm. becoming more free. That's what's happened to me. And I pray that you have had the same experience and that life is grand. You know, life is grand. So today's lesson is let miracles replace all grievances. If you recall from the past lessons, there was a lesson where we said we um, replace all grievances with happiness or joy. If you don't, then go back to the I Am Affirmations page because I placed all the lessons there. Or you can get it on your phone. You can app a C-I-M, and up comes all kinds of things. Good God morning. Thank you. Thank you. So I use my phone and my email, but there are apps in your app store about the Course in Miracles and the lessons of every day. You can start anywhere. There is no one way to do it. Sometimes I pick up my book and just let it drop, and usually more not more times than not it's exactly the lesson that i need i've become better with it because i've been doing it for a very long time you know in the beginning it's kind of went through the lessons in the daily lesson plan that they give you and now since i have the book and the app and the email it can vary god always gives you what you want what you need you just have to be open to receive it. My girlfriend from the Love Journey Inc. always says, God does not need your permission. He just needs you to allow it. That's it, to accept it, to open yourself to it. So let's open our, our consciousness to expand with the ideas and the statements of today. Let miracles replace all grievances, right? Let us do this. Please like, share, and even go to my YouTube page where you see a whole bunch of videos. It's like 300 so far, um, or close to 300. I have not been, um, usually I do both of them at the same time, YouTube and um, uh, Facebook, but I haven't done that, so I have to upload some videos, but that's all right, that's business, right? That's business. So let us begin with lesson 78. Ah, let miracles, we'll let uh, miracles replace all grievances, right? Let miracles replace all grievances. So today we're going to do a little 
closer look at grievances and who we have grievances with and, and replace them with the miracles of the day. So perhaps it's not yet quite clear to you that such decisions that you make is one between a grievance and a miracle. Each grievance stands like a dark shield of hate before the miracle it would conceal. And as you raise it up before your eyes, you will see the miracle beyond. Yet all the while it waits for you in light, but you behold the grievance instead. There is always a golden, what did I say uh, about the gold beyond? I can't remember what they say about uh, a pot of gold. There's always a blessing behind everything. There's always a reason why you know this person, but if they upset you or you don't see the blessing. Everyone comes into your life for a blessing. You come into other people's lives for a blessing. And sometimes you might have some kind of disturbance in that relationship, but you have to let it go. Today, we go beyond the grievances to look upon the miracle instead. We will reverse the way you see by not allowing sight to stop before it sees. A grievance stops you from seeing the miracle behind it. You will not wait before the shield of hate, but lay it down and gently lift your eyes in silence to behold the Son of God. And we all are the sons and daughters of God. We just are. Sometimes we don't realize that because we have so much grievance, so many dislikes, so much hate, if you want that we can't allow ourselves to even walk in that place of being the Christ on the earth, or being the son of God, which blesses us immensely once we open our heart to that, once we open our consciousness to that, that we are all sons and daughters of God. We all have the capabilities to live the life that Jesus the Christ lived. He came here, I believe, and I really truly believe, to show us how to do that, to show us the way to that peaceful existence where everything is abundant and everything comes to us. So let's go on. He waits for you behind your grievance. And as you lay them down, he will appear in shining light where each one stood before. For every grievance is a block to sight. And as it lifts you to see the Son of God, where he has always been, he stands in light. But you were in the dark. You didn't see that. You couldn't see him in this better light because you were holding that grievance of what he did or said. And that could be he or she what your sister did or what your mama did or what your daddy did. You're not, you have to look beyond that. Those were actions just of his physical. You have to see the spirit of God in everyone. Each grievance made the darkness deeper and you could not see. Today, we will attempt to see God's son. We will not let ourselves be blind to him we will not look upon our grievance so as to see as so as seeing of the world reversed as you look out towards truth always from fear you will select one person you have used as a target for your grievance lay the, and lay the grievance aside and look at him Someone perhaps you fear, or even hate. Someone you think you love who angered you. Someone who called you, you called a friend, but whom you see 
has difficult times or hard to please, demanding, irritating, or untrue to the ideal he should accept as his according to the roles you have set for him. We're going to let that thing go. We're going to just look at him as a son of God. You know how you know the one to choose. You already know him. You already know that person. You have thought about his name. It's crossed your mind already. He will be the one of whom we ask God's son be shown to you. Through seeing him behind the grievance that you have held against him, you will learn that what lie be hidden while you saw him not it's not there. And you'll see it. He was enemy is more than friend when he is freed to take the holy role of the Holy Spirit. It has been assigned to him. Let him be the savior unto you today. Such is his role in God, your father's plan. Let your grievance go. Think about who he is and then let it go. Our longer practice periods today you will see him in this role. You will attempt to hold him in your mind. First, as you now consider him, you will review his faults, then the difficulties you have had with him, the pain he has caused you, his neglect, and all the little or larger times he hurt. You will regard his body with, a, with its flaws and better point as well. You know, just think about all of the things that happened. You will think of his mistakes and even his sins, not quite on task. A sin, missing the mark. Did he miss the mark in the relationship? Did she miss the mark? What did she do? Think about that. Then let us ask him in your mind, not a person now, this is all in your head. Who knows this son of God in his reality and truth that we may look upon him different and see our savior shining the light of true forgiveness given unto us. We will ask him in the holy name of God and of his son, as holy as himself. And this is what you ask. Let me behold my savior in this one. You have appointed as the one for me to ask to lead me to the holy light in which he stands, that I may join with him. You see this person? You review all that happened in your life with this person? And then you ask, let me behold my Savior in this one. You can put a name there. You have appointed as the one for me to ask to lead me to the holy light in which he stands, that I may join with him. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is the bomb.com. It is the place where you receive the peace. And probably they do too, because as you receive the peace and replace it with love, that whole replacement of all those ideas of things that you thought happened, and replace it with love, it is so, 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 so. It's just, it's just, 
I can't even put a word on it. Forgiveness of all grievances, seeing everyone in the light of God, being that given person, that spirit that oversees the body is the best way to love each other and love yourself. Now, you know, it's, it's difficult, but with the Course in Miracles, it's just saying the statement and keeping that statement in your mind when grievances come up. Let miracles replace all grievances. Just that statement alone helps you to replace and forgive everybody for everything. So let's go on. The body's eyes are closed. Of course, you're going to close your eyes. And as you think of him who grieved you, let your mind be shown the light in him beyond all of your grievances. See his body just become a aura of light. And if you don't see it, don't worry about it. Just say it anyway. Eventually forgiveness will come. What you have asked for cannot be denied. And God doesn't deny us anything. Your Savior has been awaiting long for this, that he would free you and make his freedom yours. The Holy Spirit leans from him to you, seeing no separation of God's son. And what you see through him will free you both. Be very careful now. Look upon your shining Savior. No dark grievances obscure the light from him. You have allowed the Holy Spirit to express through him the role God has given him that you might be saved. God thanks you for these quiet times today in which you laid your images aside. Remember, all images are, are illusions. And looked upon the miracle of love of the Holy Spirit shown in their place. The world and heaven joins in thanking you for not one thought of God, but must rejoice as you are saved and all the world with you. Your forgiveness of everybody helps the world to forgive, to live in happiness and peace because we are all spiritually connected. We are all spiritually connected. So as you practice this to this day, really you can go through the longer session where you see a person and you say to that miracles, replace all grievances. You will find that life today will be great, joyous, happiness. Do not respond negatively to negative. In your mind, bless them with this. Let miracles replace all grievances. No matter what it is or who it is, do not focus on the negative. Do not close your spirit to the great joy of love, peace, harmony. We will remember throughout the day and take role, the role assigned to us as part of God's salvation plan. And not your own. Of course, your, your emotions and ego wants to you know, get off all key, go crazy on somebody who's going crazy on you, but breathe. Stop before you allow your you to spit up on somebody who's spitting up on you. That's what I like to talk about um, and, and say it. before it even happens, before you respond in your head, say, let miracles replace these grievances. Keep saying it. 
keep saying it just to keep yourself in that perfect place of love and harmony. No matter how bad your ego might want to say it is, it really isn't. It really isn't. To everyone you meet and to the ones you think of or remember in the past, allow the role of Savior to be given that you may share it with him. For you both and all the sightless ones the ones that are not up in your face or we, we will always pray let grievances let well i was just trying to say let grievances be replaced by miracles or let miracles be, be replaced by grievances let miracles replace all grievances or or let all grievances be replaced by miracles. Whichever way it comes up in your spirit as you say these things, it's all right. Life is good and all is well. Remember that life is good. Hey, Reginald, how are you? We're talking about letting miracles replace all grievances. Grievances meaning forgiveness given. So as you go through the day, remember this. Be blessed. I am Rosa J, doing it God's way each and every day, and I desire to be the savior of the world. So when I save myself and replace all grievances with love and forgiveness, everybody else does the same. Have a good God day. Know that I love you, and I will be here tomorrow. See you in the morning. Be blessed. Like my I Am Affirmation page. Go there and see all the videos from the, of the Course in Miracles. Get my book, I Am Affirmations. You just shop and it takes you straight. Push the shop button. It takes you straight to my book. Um, and subscribe to my YouTube page. You have a good God day. Know that I love you. And I always will. See you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. I love it.